Hey everyone. Of course, I'm still wishing you well during these complicated times, pandemic and otherwise. Hoping that you're safe and optimistic through it all, however involved you may be. But anyway, it's another odd numbered month, so time to talk a bit about some things I've sort of been on the fence about getting. First, with movies, there's the 4K uh, 45th anniversary edition of Jaws. Um, bit of movie fan vulnerability here. I've actually only seen little scenes and stuff of the movie. <laughs> I know how great it is, how influential it is. That's, you know, a Spielberg classic, a basically a pioneering summer blockbuster. And between that and my ongoing curiosity about finally getting into 4K movies, even without having the proper hardware at this time, thinking maybe that would be a good, like, first pick for that format in my collection. I mean, it also has a Blu-ray copy and like packaging extras, like a lenticular cover and collectible booklet. So might be a nice, you know, like inaugural entry into 4K for me. Then on to comics. I've been wondering about the March Trilogy from Top Shelf. I know a little bit about the late John Lewis's life and activism and politics and stuff. Between, you know, the amazing impact and legacy he left behind. You know, these graphic novels, the little autobiographical tale showing the civil rights movement through his eyes. I know those are also very well received. So, given his very recent passing and you know, these comics being a nice kind of part of his presence throughout culture. Thinking maybe it's finally time to get those. Learn a bit more, you know, through sequential art and comic storytelling. <laughs> and finally, some pretty recent toys, I believe. Some Avatar The Last Airbender figures from Diamond Select. I know they make really nice stuff when it comes to Marvel, DC, maybe just Marvel, sorry. <laughs> classic movies, various other projects, and tie-ins. And they look pretty nice. I think there's Aang, Katara, Zuko, and Azula so far. They seem kind of minimal on accessories, but very detailed, very 
well articulated. But my main issue is that, at least with the current assortment, it's based on characters, like, appearances from close to the series finale. I'm kind of wondering if they'll kind of go back and, of course, not only include folks like Sokka, Toph, Suki, May, Ty Lee, Iroh, Ozai, and so on and so on. <laughs> but show them as they appeared earlier in the series because it feels kind of weird for apparently the first wave of these toys to show them from about the end of the series. <laughs> so if that line kind of expands into their various styles and appearances, I might be more interested, but right now it's definitely something I could wait on. Sorry, I maybe gave more attention to the things that aren't as historically important as, you know, a civil rights activism autobiography. But those are the main things I'm wondering about this time. Kind of a landmark classic movie on 4K an autobiographical graphic novel series and some cartoon tie-in action figures. So, like I said at the beginning, hope you're doing well through these difficult times. Safety and optimism, keeping in those things going. So, see you later, folks.